I just can't lay a finger. Well, hmm. what's this? I told you I want juice and you don't need to eat. What's this? What's wrong with you? Sarah. Come in. Hey. Oh. Ah. Mr. Reza, why yeah, did you leave the key outside? Why she was inside? Oh, I forgot to bring it in. Ah, you don't need to do that because if somebody wants to come and harm you, the person will get free access to the room just like that. Okay, sir. Sorry. It's not happening again. I couldn't even greet you. Good afternoon. Good afternoon, sir. Yeah. Oh, you can sit down. Ah, sit down, sit down, sit down. Um, it's a pleasant surprise over here. You hardly come into my office. I see you are, you know. But today, that I'm here, meaning there's something. It's not any big deal. Ah, this is Sarah. Okay. Our new cleaner. Okay. Sarah, this is Miss Teresa. Okay. Uh, your secretary. So, uh, Miss Teresa. Uh, this is what I just came to do. I wanted to come and introduce her to you. Okay. Mm, so, with a quick introduction, as I said, I will be leaving. I want to uh, run one or two things at the office. Uh -huh. So, we just have a conversation with them, interrogate her however you want to, and you know how the rules goes. Yeah. And then you give her the rules, and I will be at the office. Okay. So, you see that? Feel comfortable, okay? Okay. Mm. So, dear. Uh, I'll be at the office, okay? okay? So in case of anything, just call me. Okay. Okay. All right. Okay. All right. See you then. Okay. Okay. Don't forget what I told you about the key. Okay. Yeah. So what did you say in your again? Sarah. Okay. Sarah. Yes, please. Which school did you attend? I didn't go to school. Like, you didn't go to school. In this modern world, you didn't go to school. Yes, please. Are you being serious or you are joking? I didn't go to school. <laughs> Why didn't you go to school? Is it that you come from a poor family or what? Yes. From the from village. The, from the village? Yes. And you want to work here? <laughs> this is funny. You came all the way from the village to come yes. and work here, in this big company. Yes. Have you looked around? Did you see the kind of people here and you want, you want to work here? Yes, please. The last cleaner who left here even had a diploma and you come here, you've not gone to school before and you think you'll fit in. This is funny. Will you get up? Because I'm being nice to you, you are sitting. I'm sitting, you are also sitting. Like, it still amazes me. You didn't go to school. No. And you, you want to work here, you came, you are sitting with me because I'm being nice, you think like we are on the same level. Do I look like your mate? No, sorry. Will you go and get ready and come and clean this place? Hurry up, go and get a broom and sweep here. Be quick about that. But like, what's wrong with sir? How can you bring someone who didn't go to school all the way from the village to come and work here? This is funny. Yes, Just mind my business. Where did you get this broom from? Did you bring it from your village? Yes. <laughs> Wait, you carried the broom from your village to come here? Yeah. 
I'm coming here for a clean, so I prepared myself though, so I have to. Will you take that thing from here? Didn't you see the brush there? Why you, Why did you bring this here? I don't know how to use them. I'm used to this one. And you want to sweep my office with this thing? Will you take this thing from here? Okay. What's wrong with you? Oh God. Come in. You know what? Get us from here. Go. And when you are coming, make sure you bring me juice to cool down my temper because you are pissing me off. What's the secret tell me? There's no secret. Are you certain? Yeah, I'm very, very sure. Hey. I know someone will say I'm flirting with you in your office, but I mean, it's far from that. Ah, look at your cheeks. Damn! <laughs> he must be really taking good care of you. Who? Oh, Ooh. my dad is really taking good care of me. <laughs> Why are you laughing? <laughs> we all know it's not your dad we are it's talking about. It's my dad. Here. Then who else is? I mean, you know. I don't want to take good care of me. I wish I could if you had given me the opportunity. No, please, you are getting married next month. <laughs> and who told you that lie? Oh, I saw a flyer online. <laughs> yeah, an invitation. Me? Yes. As discreet as I am. Oh, yeah, I saw it. You know, I've been telling you that my wedding is strictly by invitation. 70 people, 35 from my end, 35 people from my wife to be there. That's all. So when are we coming for the wedding? Uh, that is the more reason why I am here. Really? Yeah. Okay, then let's go back to business. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, the money is not for the wedding, but okay. I managed to invest in uh, my new project that I'm doing. That uh, The proceeds that will come, I'll use it to fund the wedding. Okay, so you're here for a loan? Yeah, exactly. I'm here for a loan. Okay. So how much are you looking at? Uh, looking at uh, roughly, let me, almost around seventy to eighty thousand really? dollars. Yes. 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 That's why I'm not even taking the local currency, because okay. um, it's a huge project. Yeah, eighty thousand. Yeah, I think eighty thousand dollars will suffice. Oh, okay. Let me start the application process. Okay. I pray the money can't plenty so that I get my own share. Oh, you know, as for you and I, uh, we oh, yeah. go way back. Oh, okay, so how much do you earn at the end of the month? Well, so because I do my own business, um, roughly, I pay myself uh, $5,000 at the end of the month. $5,000 at yes. the end of the month. And do you have any investments you do that you take money from this 5000 Hi. You put in your, your questions. Are you here? I need it? to know. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so um, I have this investment at um, uh, OB Investment Company. Yeah, I invest thousand five out of the five thousand okay. there. Yes. So meaning we are left with three thousand five hundred. Yeah, three thousand five hundred. So and that's then, exactly what's left with you after you do all your investments. And oh, you know. Mm, they will take their taxes, but then we they, we don't even see what they are using the taxes for. That's so right. after they take the tax, uh, mm, so roughly, let's see, let's just rough calculation around three thousand thereabouts. Okay, so yeah. three thousand. Yeah. Okay. 
Alright. So, did you come here with any documents? Oh! Mama T. I will need your IDs and... Because I need to key in your ID numbers. Mm -hmm. And also, I will need a collateral. Well, for the ID, I think I can readily give you my okay. ID. But for the collateral, I think that would be an issue. But I mean, I'm, 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 I'm a regular customer here. You know, like and you know, you know your customer. CEO and his entire family, they are very good friends of mine. That's my card. Okay. Uh, they are very good friends of mine. So I don't know why you should still take me through this rigorous process. I need to. You know, it's a procedure. Otherwise, I might be in trouble. What sort of trouble? They will ask why I didn't take it because it needs to be there. It's a formality, you know. I mean, just tell them. I mean, it's 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 me. It's me. They won't take that. You're one and only customer. I know. Oh, and you've not even fixed the AC yet. Up on all the money, you need to fix the AC. Say that to your friends. <laughs> you need to say that to your friends. You need to fix the AC. So why did I get yeah. it fixed? I've complained to them about it when they said they would make sure it's fixed. Oh, okay, okay. You didn't even offer me a glass of drink or anything. Hey, oh. Tessie. Oh, okay. Maybe because I'm not him, so you treat me oh. that way. <laughs> no, that's not the reason. Mm. Um. So right now, the collateral is the problem now. Yes, yeah, so as I was saying, uh, I'll try and then when I go home, I'll get to the collateral. But what are we looking at there with the collateral? We need to keep it so that in case you don't pay, then we'll keep that property. Mm. Your boss, eh? Your boss. I even, me, helped him get, I even helped him get this place know, to start a business. And when I'm applying for a loan, I need a collateral. <sighs> What's wrong with you? Why are you sweating like this? I just Don't really you know sweating. there are customers around? Yeah. Like, I still don't get it. Like, get out. Go and bring me like a juice to cool down my temper. Oh, oh, I'm sorry oh. about that, Mr. Paul. This new secretary they brought in today, she is a whole mood. They brought her from the village and everything about her is wrong. Can you imagine she carried a local broom from the village to come and clean this place? <laughs> I'm not supposed to interfere with your office business, but this is absolutely ridiculous. Yes, and when I told her to go get a brush to sweep the place, she told me she doesn't know how to use the brush. She brought it here and she broke the brush and kept it on my table. <laughs> <laughs> you must be dealing with a lot here, yes. I guess. <laughs> yeah, come in. Oh, God. She's something else. <laughs> but there's something striking about her. I just I, I just can't lay a finger. Well. Hmm. What's this? I told you I want juice and you brought me to What's this? What's wrong with you? Sarah. Mr. Paul, do you know her? Pastor, what are you doing here? Mr. Paul, do you know her? Do I know her? I'm confused. You know her. I told you your, 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 your CEO is a very good friend of mine. In fact, all his family members. That's your CEO's sister. Are you being serious here? This is not my CEO sister. She's a cleaner. She came from the village to come and work here. She's the one I was talking about. Sarah, how come you are all dressed up like a village fool? What's happening? All for a reason. Not up, up, just to add up to what he just said. I'm not even just a sister too, but a shareholder of this company as well. Teresa. You've been rude since the day I came till now. So that's all that you've been doing. So I've been moving to no, every branch to no. check what is going on. So that's what you've been no. doing. No. This. That's what you've been doing. I'm sorry, please. I'm sorry. You, no, no, I don't need any sorry. In fact, nothing shows that you are really sorry I'm of what sorry, you. Please. 
what you were doing. Please no. Please calm down. In fact, pack your things and leave. Please leave. No, I can't work Please, with you. I'm sorry. You you are too rude. How can a secretary behave like this? And it's the same way you're going to treat the customers no, as well. No, you can ask Please, Mr. No. Paul. No, Please. just move. I'm very sorry. Please, Please just leave. Please leave. Okay, please. Tess, please. Sir, I've, I've known Teresa for quite some time now. She's a good lady. I'm, I'm just surprised seeing her behave this way. I'm sorry. Please. So what, what was wrong? The way you came in and the way you were behaving and you telling me you didn't go to school, you came from the village, it made me undermine you. I'm sorry. Ah, Teresa! You undermine her because she said she doesn't yeah. have a certain amount of formal education. And the way she was behaving. But you don't judge a book by its cover. I know. I should have known better. I'm sorry. Please. Sorry. Please. Just leave my house. You know what? Let, let, let me just teach that you, you, you talk about this. I don't want to be a party to this because she's a very good friend. But seeing this, I'm confused and I, I'm not the best person to judge or give any counsel as it sounds. You're all drenched. I'm sorry. Oh, Teresa. I just hope she, she retains you so that you can process my loan for me. Sarah, I beg you. I beg you. Kindly look into this issue for me. No problem. Then you better talk to me or else I'll fire it. Oh, I'll leave you. Morale of the story. Respect is a very valuable part of life. And regardless of whoever it is that you're dealing with, you've got to give that person the needed respect. It will not hurt for everyone to be respected. So now should Sarah sack her from misconduct and harassment of a staff? Send your comments in the comment section. This is Oxide Chronicles. If you want more videos, remember to subscribe, hit the notification button to get more videos.